Hey everyone, this is also Mokabayashi from Zen Ideas. I'm working on a, a new project now. Uh, this is old my client's website, and then uh, so this is kind of user meta box here, and I'm using uh, Jetta Engine to create a new user meta box. And then uh, for a moment, I got stuck because so they have uh, lots of uh, uh, U.S. states information here, so that the user can pick. And I was thinking about how we can achieve this. Uh, so I got the states here. And then instead of text field, so this is going to be select field, right? All right. So I don't want to put them manually. Let's see uh, what we can do here. Yeah. So then let's use uh, chat GPT here. So uh, this is my prompt. So could you create a list of all the states, United States, in alphabetical order? Okay. So let's uh, ask. All right. Here we go. Uh, but I don't want to um, copy and paste on that. So let's uh, ask um, again, uh, can you uh, create a CSV file? So I can. Yes. To my website. OK, let's try that. OK, so let's hit download here. OK. Don't want a desktop. Okay, so here is the uh, CSV file. All right, so let's go to um, JetNG. And then let's, yeah, go here. And then uh, go glossaries. It's going to add the new. Okay. Great. Yeah, so the data source is going to be. Uh, all right, so let's uh, select files. So I've never done this before, so it looks like I have to upload a file here first. So let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, upload file here. And then uh, this one. Okay, and then I use this file. Okay, so I'm going to just leave those empty and then convert to manual source. Convert to manual source to be able to edit the glossary field. Okay, I like to private combat that just in case I wanted to. Uh, oh, here we go. States. All right. So, okay, looks great. But uh, looks like uh, there's uh, the warning sign here. So let's see. Oh, that's right. So you can use only lowercase for the value here. So, all right. So let's try this again. Uh, let's go to, I'm going to go to chat GP again and explain the situation. So I'm going to just pause when I uh, put the prompt. Okay, so here's my new prompt. So I need a two column format, one for labels and one for values. The value column must contain all lowercase letters without spaces. Okay, so let's see. All right, so let's uh, download again. All right, take a look at it. All right, so this should work. And actually, I want to change this uh, state to uh, label. Okay, and then all right, back to uh, glossary. Uh, let's try this again. Yeah. Okay, so go to also select a new file. Oh, I got upload, update, upload this one. Okay. All right, so let's do that. Convert. All right, so let's see. Oh, no, that's that's wrong. All right, so that's opposite here, actually. Now let's try again. Okay, let's try again. I think so. Label. Yeah, I don't think you can use uh, uppercase here. So I'm like value. So try this. And then so I'm going to export this once more to CSV. Okay. 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 All right. So let's do this again. Select. Upload. Okay. Right here. Okay. Use this. Now, so let's see. So value column. I'm going to put the value here. And then label is, oh no, label is actually a label. Okay. And convert. All right, so it looks that. 
Okay, so New Mexico, that's okay. All right, so New York. Okay, here we go. Save that. Okay, so now let's go to um, Metabox. And use a meter. And then right here is a state. Uh, where does states go? Oh, maybe I didn't save it. Um, yeah, let's create into the new states here. Okay, so state. Okay, uh, this has to be select field. And then I'm gonna use uh, glossary and which one? State. Okay, so now update. Done. Okay, I hit another wall here. So there's, I have to import those, um, but this is not really the same platform. So I cannot really import it. Uh, once again, so I'm gonna use a uh, chat GPT. Um, so hopefully this is helpful. So what I'm gonna do is, um, so I'm going to go back to chat GPT and put another prompt. So let's try this. So I have another set of data that I need to import to my website. Can you create a CSV file with a two column format that you created for me before? I will attach an image so you can see which items to, to, uh, to include. Are you ready? Then I'm go back here. So this, I don't want to copy and paste uh, individually. So I'm going to just uh, take a screenshot here. Uh, Shift command number four. So that's the screenshot for Mac. Mac. And I'm going to just uh, take this uh, screen here. All right. And I just automatically save it to my desktop. So I'm going to upload the file, uh, which is the desktop uh, screenshot here. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, upload it. And then uh, there we go. Okay, so let's uh, save it. All right, so let's take a look. Desktop. We could double check. Okay, so looks good to me. Okay, so let's do this again. So now go back to uh, glossary here. Uh, make sure I'm going to just refresh here just in case. And add a new glossary. And this is what is called a uh, skill area expertise. Okay, that's the name here. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, shorten this a bit. Skills of uh, Airbnb XDs uh, to share. That's for okay. okay, so data source, upload a file, select, uh, upload, select so this one. All right, so let's uh, upload it. And then this is value column. I'll double check here, I think. So label value, okay. So uh, so value and the label, okay. I want to convert. Here we go, like something like that. Um, definitely, I like to shorten this. Um, it's kind of difficult. So, but I can do that manually, no problem. Something like this, technology, uh, web software development. You know, just. Uh, Something like that. So, yeah, I can I can easily uh, do that. So this is great. Yeah, I hope this helps. Um, yeah, for you guys as well.